2023 was a monster year for markets. Every major index was up double digits. The crowd was done. Today, we're going to talk about the top five most bought stocks in 2023. This is what Map Signals does. Not only do we have the big money index and look at market flows, but we look at single outlier stocks. This is a goodie, so strap in. So let's go ahead and get to the first most bought stock in 2023. It was none other than ELF Beauty Incorporated. So this is a great cosmetic name. We know it very, very well. Um, but you can see here, all of these blue lines, those are the top 20 instances. So you guys may not know this, but every single week we take all those buys and sell signals and then we rank them based on fundamental qualities like growing sales, growing earnings. And if they're getting bought and they have a high score, they're gonna be on this super rare top 20 list. And here's the deal. This is what I call the stairway to heaven. So each of these bars are the times that ELF was a top 20 stock. And as you can see, the more top 20 appearances, generally the better the stock performance. So this happened in January of last year. Stock is up 181% since then so this is why uh in a very big bullish tape you want to be focusing on outlier stocks and also this was the number one most bought stock in 2022 as well i just want to point this out that look at this july of 22 do you guys remember what was going on in july of 2022 that was the bear market low and this thing started getting accumulated massively by institutions uh, right around the $30 area, probably a little less. But I just want to point that out. Now we're talking about a stock that is looks like $140. It is a beast. Let's go ahead and get to the number two name. And this is another well-known outlier. It is Copart. Ticker is C. PRT online auctioneer website. So get this has a five year revenue CAGR at 16 and a half percent. The five year net income CAGR is a mind blowing 24.3%. But here is the deal it started showing up on these top 20 lists. It looks like back in February. And again, stairway to heaven you just want to see recurring big money going into the best names and clearly copart was one of them this is a monster name uh just a huge growth outlier name which by the way if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you go ahead and do that right now it'll help us out let's go ahead and get to the number three stock and this is awesome because it is a home building name. That's right. Remember, everybody said rates are high. Uh, the home builder stocks are going to go to zero. That is the opposite of what our data said. And institutions started betting big on companies like DR Horton, DHI. So you go all the way back to January, and this stock was just getting accumulated. And uh, we were telling everybody, you want to be betting on home builders, a non consensus call. It was the right call but consider this why were institutions buying this thing we'll check this out the three-year revenue kager is up 20.4 percent three-year net income kager is plus 26 percent okay you're rarely going to find any growers that are stronger than that and this just shows you the power of single stock picking right you got to have the right tools in a bullish market Let's keep going. The number four, now this is a semiconductor name, small cap name, Excellus Technologies, ticker is ACLS. Big institutional flows last year. Check this out. Back in, looks like February or March, it started uh, appearing on the top 20 list. And uh, listen, this thing had a big monster move. Looks like it touched 200 bucks at one point. It's had a, a little bit of a pullback, but clearly this is a healthy healthy name so once markets start to uh, press higher i do expect this one is going to uh, follow suit but let's look at a couple of fundamentals why would an institution want to own this well it looks like this the eps is expected to reach seven dollars and 27 cents per share in fiscal year 2023 that's 152 percent growth compared to 2021 
their revenue slated to grow to over 1.1 billion. That's well north of the 662 million in 2021. Super cool name. This is the power of data. Let's get to the number five name, and it is another unknown name to the mainstream media, but a big known name to Map Signals. Home building stock MDC Holdings. This is another reason of why you want to be focused on the data. Um, this Denver-based firm, check this out. It started appearing, looks like back in May, and just had uh, a constant flow of money going into the stock. You'll notice it did uh, fall, right? Markets went oversold, right? That's what happens when flows are coming out of overall markets, going to come out of good stocks too. But check this out. It is back to highs. And this is just a great, great name. Representation of institutional money being put to work. Check this out. It's got a three-year revenue CAGR of 20.8%. Three-year net income CAGR of 33.2%. Mind-blowing numbers. Um, institutional mainstay. Beautiful. Um, I am excited to see what 2024 is gonna hold because there's going to be new leadership. It happens every single year. But let's go ahead and wrap this up so you can see it. January to October, 2023, you've got ELF Beauty 15 times on the top 20. Uh, it's up 181%. You see these other names, listen, double digit returns for the most part. The average of these five is plus 66.5%. When you compare that to the market, what's up? You know, 26% is just not even close. Even beat that NASDAQ. Um, but again, why is it so important to know the top five? Well, check this out. When we were oversold back in October, when the crowd was telling you the world was ending, but Map Signals was on YouTube telling you that we are going to have a big rally. Uh, this green line is showing you the average return of those five stocks, which is north of 30%, by the way. I think it's like 33, 35%. And this is versus the S&P, which is up you know, just shy of 15%, which is not bad, but it ain't that. Um, this, this is why you wanna know the recurring leadership names because that's where institutions are gonna flock once money flows go back in to markets. If you guys are not a subscriber to Map Signals, you may wanna consider that. One of the few bullish folks out there, great research. I'll see you next time.